DW seemed to uh, take more offense to uh, recent changes with no jumper than essentially anybody else. He, he blamed it on the fact that he said he didn't get a phone call. I told him I did call him, and I, sh I, I, I have it in my call log still that I tried to call him. But he definitely took it more personal, the recent changes in terms of no jumper, than other people. And he went on Instagram Live, and he made a couple of different statements. And I realized that some of these statements have, uh, you know, caused quite a bit of commotion within our uh, our fan universe. base and our culture, our universe out here. And so the two main first statements that he made is, number one, he said some stuff about, Adam, you, you, you don't want to pay a black man his money because he got shot at no jumper, yada, yada, which that to me was very concerning because I know what DW knows. And I know that DW, just like every single other person in this office, knows that nobody got shot in no jumper. So that right there made me think, maybe I kind of misjudged you. Because it really didn't take a lot for you to come on here and start lying. Yeah. And you guys know. And I would not sit here and point at you and say, <laughs> you guys know. No. Yeah. But you know that what I'm saying is true and that nobody... Got shot at no jumper. So to see somebody like very quickly decide that they want to start pushing the narrative that somebody did get shot at no jumper, I'm like, that's weird. That's that's yeah. very surprising to me. I didn't think that you would do that, and I don't think that many people are really going for it. But yeah. th there was another statement he made, which we can get into in the future, yeah, but we, there was another we, statement he made basically bragging about how he was accepting money from people to appear on no jumper – and he seems very proud of this. <laughs> and he deleted it soon after, possibly because he might have uh, kind of realized that this was essentially like him admitting to stealing, bragging about stealing. I thought it was like a weird thing for him to be so triumphant about. But I understand that this kind of... Shouts to that embezzlement flex. Let's get it. I mean, Yo. I, I was impressed. I was like, wow, I didn't see either of these statements coming. Yo, wait. That was a little surprising. So how how is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, just... How is, that's what I'm saying. When you leave and you get to speaking old stuff that you, you that you think is just a side play and shit that's going on, you don't know how that's fucking up your life in the long run. You get what I'm trying mm. to tell you? Like mm. like 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 him trying just, to get them clips him off. Just them getting the clips off yeah. and it's like damn. If I'd have really wanted to do some bullshit to me right now, like, like you really can. Like, well, you get what I'm saying? Do we Even think a, he was, like, serious? Like, is there a, is it possible that... I no, mean, do you believe like, that anyone would spend five grand to go on his podcast? I don't know. It's kind of like, it depends on how much money that person had. You know what? If they're, like, so I, I, I could see... For show people being down for that, just no. like if this five thousand, I, I can't say it for a specific number, but I know that people are like they want that no jumper cloud so bad. They're and if all it took was an investment, like hell yeah, five seems a little bit high. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like if like if you spend a five G's, I would me personally, if I'm like a company, I'd want to get a couple million impressions off that. But you, know you already I mean? know like, that. He's not going to say the actual amount that he got. Yeah. He's going to take the actual amount that he got from somebody yeah, to appear on the podcast, and he's going to multiply it by four or five. Or two. Realistically, maybe ten. We don't know. <laughs> because, look, it's, it, it is an easy setup. And, like, this reminds me of a conversation I had with my uh, poker coach recently, bbzpoker.com. He, he, he mentioned to me how he runs, like, staking business, right? So, if, like, you're good at playing poker, but you don't got enough money— He'll give you ten grand. He'll give you twenty grand. Whatever yeah, you, yeah, you play yeah. poker using his money, and if you make money, then he gets a split of it. If you yeah. lose money, then you're in debt. Whatever. So he's a, he's a yeah. futuristic bookie accommodating the right. needs of the time. Exactly. But yeah. then he also coaches these people, helps make them better. Whatever. They have a cool relationship, and he he's been doing this for a long time. And in the early Is days, his name of his, Adam. <laughs> no, no, his name's uh, Jordan. Okay. And, and in the early days of his business, he told me that a lot of people would run off on him. Like yeah. they would just run up a bill, not pay him, sorry. And and he said. That they would like that he can't in retrospect blame them for doing that because he created an environment in which there was so little bookkeeping going on with these people that is basically like if you create an environment in which it's too easy for somebody to steal, you kind of can't blame them for stealing. Well, fools run off on a Visa tab all the time. That's a daily occurrence. What's a Visa mean? tab? Like I'm they saying, credit like, card bill. Yeah, oh, yeah. like, no, like, no, like, no, like no. fifteen bands or twenty bands of Visa skirt. You feel right. me? Like yeah. seven years that shit finna get cleared. <laughs> like whatever. Like fuck it. Like just like you're like I'm sure we all know multiple people. But the thing is, I mean, is, is that if you 
like the environment that we created with the fucking weekly pods there is like it was such a free for all it was a, it was such a bring whoever the fuck you want on that it's like there's no accountability like none of us are like chiming in and saying like hey that guy that you brought on the podcast sucked it seemed like he might have been paying you to appear on the podcast whatever like we weren't doing any of that and as a result like i kind of almost can't blame him if he was doing that because it's genius there's just so little <laughs> accountability that i was a little shocked but you seemed like you were potentially saying that you felt like what he was doing by bringing those issues to the table was kind of federally ish what i was saying <laughs> uh, clarify yeah what i was saying because police wise i wasn't saying nothing about court right of course yeah the conversation was on fake telling yeah. Sharp was like, uh, right. well, Compa passed me the phone and like, is this telling? Is this telling? Yeah. Uh, right. So like questionable telling type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we, so, we so, so for example, if someone else hypothetically was running a similar jug over yeah, here, yeah, 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 now yeah, the yeah, attention yeah. has been brought to yeah, so, the powers that be that so, could, yeah. So yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, when you leave somewhere and you just get to doing shit like that, you get what I'm saying? And you talk, but you let your, because at the end I said, you my brother, don't let your emotions get you to talk about shit that ain't it. Because it's not true, but then like that could possibly get to some other shit. You get what I'm saying? But in a manner of me not saying like, hey, you a police snitching ass nigga, like nigga, nigga put him off, he's a snitch. Da, 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 da. The conversation was on fake time. Yeah, but of course people so are gonna, it was people like, are gonna it was take like, that and they like, gonna yeah, take yeah, that yeah, yeah. in. So it was like, DW's I'm like, not, I'm like, can you talk about it? DW's not stupid, bro. Like he's yeah, smart enough yeah, to be able yeah, to read between yeah, the lines. Yeah. He's been in like the media no, space. No, no, long no. Like, like he responds to everything public record, but it's not because none of us from the office, we never talked about the situation period whatever the fuck type right. of situation that happened whoever did know something and nobody got shot but whatever the fuck that was going on and then for somebody to confirm like all right the security guard up here or something or say that he was throwing the uh, he was throwing somebody else under the bus right there which is like that person was always solid with me, so I never wanted to, like, put their business out there or talk about anything that was going on with this person. So, like, the idea of, like, exposing the circumstances, it's like, that's not cool. Because then that person's going to have a harder time in life, and he didn't do nothing to involve himself. In, well, besides the obvious. He didn't, he didn't do anything to involve himself in this fucking situation. He doesn't deserve to be called out like that. I thought that was kind of lame to, like, throw his business out there. Well, obviously, he, like, has a certain level of disdain for him because just the way he talked about him in that clip. You know what I mean? Like, mm. so, like. But ma- this is something not to I would have brought it, up in a jokingly manner it, if he would have been right here like, damn, okay. You think right. that you said that was cool? Like, nigga, da 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying that you was this. So when I said snitch, it just automatically clipped. Oh, Brick Baby's calling him a snitch. Like, nigga, you didn't go to the police and do no weird shit. Like, because in the gang world, that, that word is so sensitive. You get what I'm saying? I didn't mean to call him a snitch, but I was like, basically, like, that ain't straight. But like, okay. You get what I'm I, saying? Like, yeah, you know I, what I mean? Totally At understand. the end of the day. I because, heard a couple different versions of it, though. I heard... Brick Baby is mad that DW exposed the way that people got paid or like saying that people ain't really getting paid in the jumper. I heard people saying Brick Baby is mad because DW exposed the shit about uh, Mustard Man and security or whatever. And I heard people saying Brick Baby is mad because he snitched on the jug of taking money for interviews because Brick Baby is doing that as well. (laughs) Listen. That's just a theory that a few people have. Number one and three are essentially the same thing with a little extra on it. Mm. That's the Parmesan on the fucking pot, you know. Brick Baby is mad because you are leaving. I'm not even mad, first and foremost. I'm not mad. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm just going back because you said niggas ain't getting no chili up there. Like, you don't right. know what niggas doing up here. And yeah, it ain't you even know, that. and, and it, Brick it, specifically it. said, and that's to reference the second point, like, Brick specifically said on the Sharp, uh, on Sharp's pod the other day, yeah. Brick said, like, everybody has their own arrangement. Really, like, I don't know what Brick makes over here. I don't know. It's yeah. not my business. Like, what did, what did Hope say? Well, you eat, don't make me shit. And, you and what you're getting at right now is you're saying, that you have a contract and that yeah. he was getting paid per individual piece yeah. of content, which to be totally fair, like 
that is kind of like how it goes is that people come around and we pay them for individual pieces of content. And then at some point, if it becomes obvious, like, oh, we want to have this person on a consistent schedule, I want to be able to rely on them X amount of times per month, et cetera, then we're going to put them on contract. The thing with DW is he didn't really like stick around long enough or like, or really like create that value where I was dying to give him a contract. Cause I'm going to be real with you. Like his podcast, like I got to give him credit. He showed up, he did it. P nice has a lot of potential as a P-Nice podcaster and shit. I think everybody agrees that P nice got a future as a podcaster P-Nice and everything like that. But also DW was incapable of putting a stop to the swearing in the beginning part of the podcast. I think that he might have been the most consistently demonetized podcaster in the history of no jumper. Like literally every single episode he has some was dope yellow. guests, though. He, he did. did. He got some good guests. Nick Cannon, Justina Valentine. The ones like, who didn't pay, exactly. But uh, and that, <laughs> <laughs> Justina Valentine from 10 racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And that's from yeah, a promo yeah, yeah. budget. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, like, there was just kind of a lack of professional. Uh, like, I can't blame him 100% for getting every single episode de- demonetized, aside from the fact that, like, he, he always was a person who had a very hard time not swearing. But then on top of that, it's like the views weren't really like looking too astounding it kept going down every single month like if he wanted to make a push to like get a contract and be like consistently on the podcast and everything for sure we could have got to that point but it would have had to be something that like you have to be like kind of bringing an audience to a certain regardless developed a fan base that's going to watch on the channel right like regardless of that like he's been in the industry long enough to know that ultimately you have to have those conversations with upper management and whoever the financial team, which there is yeah. in place at No Jumper, you yeah. know who to talk to about that. Mm. So if you want to get that situation cracking for yourself, or you want to change whatever financial arrangement you have in place, holler at the man. You feel me? You know who to talk to. And I was and just a little who pays you. I was a little insulted because he's talking about motherfuckers ain't getting no chili, rah rah rah, and it's like, bro. I'm out. Like, on that podcast, I don't know how many episodes it was. It was probably 10 episodes. Whatever I paid you is what I'm out. Because every single one lost money. Like, big, every single one. Like, you know, it's just, it wasn't getting any views, and it was getting demonetized on every single one. So what the fuck are we talking about? Like, you know, this has to make sense for the the business as well. Even, like, breaking even is, like, a, a decent outcome. But we weren't doing that. We were, like, just paying you on the premise that this might start getting more views as time goes by. And, you know, I mean, if he was really that confident, it's like, why don't you just go do it on your own or do it for, like, another platform or something? Because, like, if if you were really bringing that much value to the platform, then you should probably have all kinds of other options as well, right? I mean, he he low-key, in that same live he did, he did allude to the fact that, like, yo, I'm really, like, podcasting. Like, it was cool. Like, I enjoyed it. Like, ain't really my thing. I got to get back to this rapping. I'm glad that I was able to shed some light on my boy P-Nice. You feel Mm, me? Yeah. And I honestly, like, I I thought that was dope, ultimately. Like, like, yeah, I do think that DW has potential as a podcaster, absolutely. Mm. But, like, I feel like P-Nice seems way more passionate about it Mm. and, like, he could actually go very yeah. yeah yeah you see I what i'm mean, saying they say that he had a passion for it before yeah so it needed be nice already it. Then? yeah oh that's interesting so i mean he didn't have a podcast but i guess him and his brother you saw well and dw him. did want to like i know he had an interest in it because i had had dw on my pod last like summer you mm, feel yeah. me because that's the homie is like so i had him on the pod and he was all uh like he had hit me up like what's up let's let's do another show let's do shows and i was like damn the way my pod at like is low-key equipped isn't ba- based as, at that time on continual guests so i didn't really know how to like yeah. you know make it make sense because it, it was more just an interview based podcast mm. at the time yeah. but but him so it's like he had that interest in it so like when i saw him land in no jumper at first i was juiced so i was like hell yeah dw like that's exactly what you should do. And like, what a better platform for you to be on. But when I saw like the whole, I don't know if crash house the word, but hit the perturbance he was ex- exhibiting on the microphone afterwards. And just like the animosity he had towards the situation. Are you talking about bad bitch gate. Way after <laughs> bad bitch gate, way uh, after bad bitch uh, gate. When I think about that now, I am like, how, how did I think that that was going to go? Yeah. <laughs> did, it wasn't like you was talking to me. You felt like you were talking to me. No, but that's like, the thing. Like, I guess I didn't know him crazy. as well yeah, at that yeah, time, yeah, so yeah, I didn't really yeah, like yeah. think of it as going the way that it went. Like I didn't yeah. know it was going to go like that, but when I think about it now, I'm like, 
Why did I? Why did I try that one? Like, yeah, that, 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 that does seem, that try that that seem kind of ambitious. You, you clearly, but you. Did, I really don't think I, I didn't take it as. I just thought saw that as Adam being Adam. Like I don't think there's anyone right. that's ever been a cast member of the No Jumper show that you wouldn't feel because I would have said that joking. to somebody like you, and you would have fucking laughed, and you yeah. would have taken that jump. Yeah. Yeah. Even AD, AD, yeah. AD would get kind of sensitive about certain things, but even AD would have like worst case scenario would have been like. Bitch, what you say? You call those me? fools yeah. would call it. Those yeah. fools would call each other bitch more than people. That's from, a good point. Yeah. More than yeah. people from Dallas. They were like, very like, into roasting like, in general. Yeah. Like yeah. you know the way Dallas fools and they'd be like, like, the, anyway, so. like the, you know how fools out there literally talk like, yo, hey bitch, yeah, 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 as like yeah, slang, and it's yeah, not yeah, meant yeah, in a disrespectful yeah, way. Yeah. That's how often those fools on uh, at, at the end of the week that they, they would at the end of the week <laughs> constantly. You feel me? At the end of the day, you know what I'm talking about? Like, hey, it was a weekly show Yo, but like probably would have been a better yeah, yeah at the end of the week Wait, yeah. that's not even that funny never mind uh, <laughs> but that would have been like yeah. hey, 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 it would have been something <laughs> so and then to address the selling the interviews right right I do more paid interviews with me leaving when you go to other people's platforms yeah right. so it's like I barely do interviews by myself in order to sell them mm. cause I just I just start trying to neck them like paws like take it you know what i'm saying doing by myself so it's like yeah but i feel like so. i kind of got you onto that hustle too because as soon as you did no jumper i remember you talking to me about how you were trying to like get into doing more content or like more shit in general yeah. and i remember at that time being like i don't know if no jumpers like really got room for more hosts right now but i yeah. set you up with cam capone yeah okay which, was the cam yeah. capone because i told him I'm like no if you go on cam capone after no jumper it'll like really kind of get you more in the mix so it'll look yeah. like you're fucking with a yeah. bunch of different yeah. shit yeah. that's you what did. set you, you off did. like high key yeah. i didn't even like, think about that that's oh, exactly i remember what where happened. i was when i had that conversation i was at R riley reed's house at a, at a, some sort of birthday party thing she's also one of the goats i still beat off to her yeah